When outlining the molecular structure of fatty acids, let's first look at the similarities. So at one end of this structure, you have a C double bond OOH group known as the carboxyl group. At the other end, you have the CH3 group known as the methyl or sometimes omega group. And in the middle, you have the hydrocarbon chain. Now this fatty acid shown here is a saturated fatty acid because the carbons are carrying as many hydrogens as they possibly can. All of the carbons in the hydrocarbon chain are forming single bonds. These kinds of fatty acids are typically found in animal products such as butter, bacon or the fats in red meat. So now let's look at the structure of an unsaturated fatty acid and it's called this because the carbons are not holding as many hydrogens as they possibly can. In other words, there's a double bond in the hydrocarbon chain shown here. Now this particular unsaturated fatty acid shown here is a trans unsaturated fatty acid and that's because the hydrogens around the double bond are on opposite sides of their respective carbons. Furthermore, you can describe it as monounsaturated because there's only one double bond in the hydrocarbon chain. Now if the carbons that are connected by a double bond in fact have their respective hydrogens, if you like, on the same side, at least as so far as the diagram goes, uh, this creates what's known as a cis-unsaturated fatty acid. Once again, monounsaturated because there's only one double bond. Now a specific example of a cis fatty acid that the IB wants you to know about is called omega-3 and it's called that because the first double bond exists on the third carbon from the omega end or the methyl group. As you can see here this omega-3 fatty acid is also a polyunsaturated fatty acid because it has more than one double bond. Now if I add all the hydrogens into this diagram, which I didn't do before just to try and keep it clear, it's much easier for you to see how this omega-3 fatty acid is indeed a cis polyunsaturated fatty acid as opposed to a trans. A good source of polyunsaturated cis fatty acids is plant materials, but in particular a good source of omega-3 fatty acids are fish. 